What did I do? Get out of here. I didn't even do nothing. Yeah, you did. What did I do? What did I do? Go. Jabbing his flashlight into the teenager, that is Bay City, Michigan Police Chief Michael Cicchini. Get out of here. It's disturbing the peace. Moments earlier, the teen, with friends, it's a crime. had squealed a scooter tire. I see anyone else wake up. You need to get out of here. I don't know. You disturbed my peace. Please. You just committed battery. No. Yes. No, you did with a flashlight. That's bad. Get out of here. How is that right? Please. Battery, right? Mm -hmm. The teen is correct. Right. It is oh, battery. You just committed battery. You got it? Chief of police. That doesn't work that way, dude. Well, you don't have a right to disturb the peace. You have a right to disturb the peace. How are we? How are we? You hit me with a flashlight, bro. What are you talking about? This video is at the heart of a lawsuit against Bay City Police, and the chief is now out of a job. Let him talk first. Let him talk first. Let him talk. Okay. This began on the night of September 17, 2022. The teenagers were riding a bird scooter in front of an apartment building. They squealed a tire and knocked over a traffic barrel, which they then put back up. They come here, they hit the cone, they're messing around here around this new monument. It went on for about five minutes, okay? I'd had enough. I'm upstairs. All right. I said some bad words, all right? Okay. He challenged me to fight and dared me to come down. Okay, I came down. I'm gonna beat your ass, and then I'm gonna take you to jail. What would I do? Get out of here! I didn't even do nothing. Yeah, you did. He stood off on me, and I did a pectoral jab with my flashlight. Okay. Okay? Okay. What I do? Go! Take that battery. Get out of here! Two charges right oh. here. Okay. In okay. my opinion. Yes, okay. Scoop. But I'll let you investigate it. Okay. okay? Bird scoop. I, right? I'll get their uh, yep. statements I come check in with you. Okay. Yeah. Right, first talk, to, talk to him. Me? Yep. Talk to him. Okay. Um, okay. You got nothing on you? No. Okay. In the M for Michigan shirt, that is 19-year-old Parker Whalen. All right. What's going on? So we were just riding around on burn scooters, you know, like teenagers do. And then he came up How here. I'm 19. Okay. And he hit the cone right here and knocked it over. What cone? Uh, it was, I think it was the one Can with the gray on it. Can you Okay, middle one? Yeah, and knocked it over, and then he started yelling, and he threatened him first, so he was defend he was defending himself, okay, like, how, against him. Where did he come from? He was up there, up at the top. Okay. And he was like, I'll come down there and beat your ass. Okay. And he was, we waited down here to see if he would actually come down, and then he came down. Travis was standing right there, didn't say a single right word. Right and, right. like, on the road. And he came up and hit him. I don't know if it was like in the chest or the rib cage, but he hit him with the flashlight and then started shining it in his eyes. Another officer spoke to 18-year-old Travis Krim, the teen who had the physical confrontation <laughs> and who then exchanged fun, words right? with the chief. Like, I didn't even do it. How did you feel threatened, bro? Is it my luscious locks? Are you jealous, you bald bitch? Huh? I would be jealous too. Look at my <laughs> Wrench out here, bro. <laughs> Call the yeah. cops, bro. You committed battery. I can assault no, you all I want. Back, You're kiss me? Assault me. You want to make out? Assault. I'll make out with you right now. I sweep both ways, bro. Go ahead. Assault me. Back I'm not gonna up. Touch you. I'm not going to touch you. I know Get better. out of his face. I know better, bro. Hey, what is can he you doing send a unit down here? I've got three hooligans that need to go. Hooligans? You hit me with a flashlight. <laughs> I'm at 9th Street in front of River's Edge. I was riding. You know how like when you press the brake, the back wheel locks up and it makes a squeaking noise, right? Okay. And you can drift when you do that. It's kind of fun. Right? Okay. I get it's kind of late and stuff, right? right? But he's up there. He goes, hey, big shot, you want to go? Right? Because I said, he said, why don't you keep it down? I said, I'm not doing nothing wrong. He goes, hey, big shot, you want to go? Right? So, obviously, you know, I'm a dude, 18 years old. I can hold my own ground. I'm going to hold my own ground. Right? Okay. So, I didn't know who he was, right? This random old guy. Older guy. Not trying to be Right? So, I said, yeah, come down. We can go. Right? He's threatening me to fight me. Right? And I stood right here. I said, what's up? He walks up to me and like, I'm not going to hit you, I promise. He goes like that and jabs me like right here in the ribs with the flashlight. Okay. And then he said he felt threatened. My hands were at my sides. I don't know. I didn't swing at him. I didn't pick up. What I did you do when he walked down? I just stood there. I said, what's up? Like, I, you know, I didn't know who he was. He was, that was bad. I think he was a cop. I'm not going to swing at a cop, you know? I have more respect than that. He's like, hit me, hit me, hit me. And like points toward his chin. Like I'm gonna hit him. 
And I said, no, I'm more mature than you. I'm not going to hit you. And he goes, hit me. And I'm like, I'm not going to hit you. I just, I, I hit him, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Then what happened? And then you guys got here. And I just, I asked him if I could sit down. He said, you're free to do whatever you want. I walked over here. I seen you guys pulling up and I stopped. I just, now I'm here. I didn't threaten him in any way. I don't know how he feels threatened. So the original altercation was because you were squeaking the squeaking tires, the tires on the bird and he scooters. yelled at you from up there. Yeah, is that is that a worthy thing to hit someone's flashlight? Because he's chief of police, he's above me, he's yeah. better than me. If Chief Michael Cicchini thought he was above the teenagers and that it was okay to hit one with a flashlight, the chief found out quickly that was a mistake. Within two days, the teens and their families filed a formal complaint, prompting Bay City, Michigan officials to place Chief Cicchini on administrative leave. The Michigan State Police then reviewed the video recorded by one of the teens, as well as the police body camera videos, and within 10 days, the state police forwarded their report to the Bay County Prosecutor's Office. A few days after that, in a news conference at his desk, Bay City Public Safety Director Michael Cicchini announces retirement amid assault allegations. Weeks later, following an independent review by the Michigan Attorney General's office, as this headline said, former Bay City Public Safety Director charged with assault and battery. It's a misdemeanor, which in Michigan is punishable by up to 93 days in jail. At his arraignment, the former chief was released on his own recognizance, but ordered not to have any contact with the teens. And you not to be within a quarter mile of his residence or workplace, and not to display any aggressive behavior or have any weapons in your possession while this case is pending. Is there, do you have questions about anything? Nope, we're set. Anything further that we need to address, Ms. Ryan? That's right. The former police chief was ordered to provide his fingerprints. Talk about humiliation. Based on Michael Cicchini's clean record, legal experts do not expect the chief will receive any jail time, though he will likely have to perform community service. But that's not going to be the end of this. The teens and their families have now filed a federal civil rights lawsuit. Legal experts say that proving civil damages may be tough, even if it's clear the chief violated their civil rights. However, the families argue that the police chief caused the teens lasting emotional and psychological damage. In any case, this Michigan incident is a stark reminder, always film your interactions with the police. The video does not lie. Furthermore, under the Constitution and settled case law, all of us have a right to criticize police and even tell them to their face to do that thing that is anatomically impossible. It may be obnoxious and disrespectful, and when it comes from a teenager on a scooter, the taunts may be particularly annoying. But if a police officer cannot handle it, he or she should not be a cop, never mind a police chief. By the way, in Washington state, some sheriff's deputies are now in trouble after storming into a suspect's home without a warrant. All right, come out, come out, I'm gonna force a you A warrant! Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. You're on the camera! I didn't do mm, Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster, thanks for joining us.